So what GPUs are worth buying now that we're entering the end of 2023? Uh, we're going to go down the list pretty much of all of the GPUs that are available really quick and see if we should buy it or not. Now, I kind of like to play on different GPUs. You would think that, for example, if you have a 4090, that's going to be the best always, right? Well, somebody like me, I like seeing the differences in GPUs. I have more fun sometimes putting in like a 4060 Ti, a 3060, some other GPU to see how it performs at a certain resolution like 1440p. And then, of course, you play on the 4090 to see like the max that something will go, which is often a little bit overkill. But you'll be surprised at how often a cheaper GPU is actually pretty adequate for playing. And that gives you some pretty good perspective. And now let's hear a word from our sponsor, VIP cdkdeals.com a windows 10 pro cd key add to cart you put in code cc20 this will also work on windows 11 you want to go into your settings and windows change and adjust your cd key click activate and now let's go back to the video so let's start at sort of the little bit cheaper gpus and we'll work our way up so if your budget is in that like 300 dollars and under range maybe you're going to be looking at an amd 7600 or perhaps the NVIDIA 4060. Now, I've played on both. They're both pretty good GPUs for that price range. You can often get a 4060 on sale. Maybe around that price, a 4060 will have DLSS 3. It is pretty energy efficient, but the AMD GPU, you might be able to find it even cheaper. So it's a little bit of a toss up. If you do like the NVIDIA features, I probably would go for the 4060. I think that would sort of be my pick. Now, it gets a lot more complicated when we start to get to the 4060 Ti. The eight gigabyte version, I don't really think anybody should buy. You're much better off going for like a last generation GPU, like maybe an AMD 6750 XT or a 6700 XT. Those will perform very similarly in most cases, and you're gonna save a decent amount of money. Now, if you've been paying attention to some of the GPU prices, the 16 gigabyte 4060 Ti, some models certainly have dropped in price closer to like that 430 level now that's not an awful price for that gpu as it gets closer to 400 dollars i think a 16 gigabyte 4060 ti is a pretty decent gpu i've played on it myself at 1440p with like a lot of triple a games you know resident evil 4 ratchet and clank and it actually does pretty well most of the time you can hit 60 frames per second on like pretty high settings you have the aid of dlss 3 of course so generally i do like it if it's cheaper if it's anywhere above 430 honestly the 4060 ti is just way overpriced even at 16 gigabytes of vram and then you're better off looking at the 7800 xt at 499 and 16 gigabytes of vram that definitely came in and shook up the NVIDIA tree a significant amount. I mean, it basically beats a 4070, so why would anybody buy a 4060 Ti? So that basically erased that type of discussion. Now, the 7700 XT, eh, it's a little bit more hit or miss. I think if you're in that budget around the 500 or a little bit under, probably better just to do that 7800 XT, unless you get like a 4070 cheap enough where it's like 499, then once again, those NVIDIA features like DLSS 3, DLSS 3.5 with ray reconstruction. Maybe some of those things may start to interest people a little more in the future because it looks like NVIDIA is really pushing heavy on DLSS and obviously ray tracing is a big part of that. AMD has their own FSR 3 coming out, but it's always a little bit hit or miss until we actually see what's going on. Now, when we step up to the level of the 4070 Ti, that's when you start to get a little bit higher performance, but at the prices, it's still a very, very difficult buy. I mean, the 4070 in many cases does perform pretty much, you know, very adequately for a lot of games. You still have the same 12 gigabytes of VRAM. At that level, maybe you want to look for a last generation GPU. Sometimes you can find maybe like a, a 3090 or something like that that's significantly cheaper on the used market. Something like that may not be a bad idea. Or even something like an AMD 6950 XT, which they've been going for cheaper and cheaper and the performance is still pretty amazing but has lots of vram 16 gigabytes of vram so that's certainly not a bad gpu to look at 
Now, as we get in between the 4070 Ti level and the 4080, really, the 4080 is such a big jump at around $1,200. You can find them on sale for around 1000 but that's proven not really to be enough. I mean, at this price, if you can get them for under 1000 under $900, the AMD 7900 XTX is actually a really good GPU. Often, it can even compare to some, you know, the 4090 numbers, for example, and like rasterization, like in Call of Duty and games like that where it really favors AMD, you can actually get some pretty good results with the 79 XTX. The XT version is just like the 7700 comparison, not really worth it for that small price bump. The XTX really is such a big difference in terms of performance. So I still think if you get it a few hundred dollars cheaper than a 4080, 7900 XTX certainly is not a bad choice. And then obviously the only GPU really left at those upper echelon of numbers is going to be the 4090. And do I still think it's a good buy? Well, it's been a long time already in the product cycle, but if you want the absolute most overkill best performance, certainly that's going to be your best option. I mean, if you're going to be playing retail for a 4080, maybe better to spice it up a few hundred dollars and get that 4090. Now, I would say that some of the issues the 4090 had, like with the melting adapters, certainly something to keep an eye on, but it wouldn't be something that deters me completely from buying a GPU like that. Just make sure that, you know, your cable's plugged in and things like that. I really do think the 4090, price aside, is going to last a very long time. I think it's it's going to be like the 1080 Ti. Maybe it wasn't as popular because of the really high starting price, but I think if you look ahead in like two or three years, lots of people, especially when it's cheaper, are going to be using the 4090 for gaming. I think it's still going to be amazing. 24 gigabytes of VRAM. Even now, it's absolute overkill in 1440p. I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. Even with the introduction of a 5090, which obviously is going to perform better, I think the 4090 will probably prove the test of time. Much like like the 1080 Ti did for a very long time, it was just really popular. Now, GPU pricing in general has been very stagnant. We haven't really seen that many sales and deals. NVIDIA is just holding the line and AMD is following through. Obviously, I didn't mention Intel nearly as much. The ARC GPUs can be interesting in that sort of, you know, the, the more budget segment. But when like Starfield came out, the drivers weren't ready. So there's a lot of issues there still. I don't really know if it's something that I would want to use as my main GPU even today. AMD or A NVIDIA are going to give you a more perhaps thorough and consistent experience. All right, guys, let me know what you think down below. What do you think of the current market situation with GPUs? Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.